Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. This is part 9 of GCP Digital Leader Real Exam Questions. And before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. Without further delay, let's start. This is question 37 or the first question of this part. Let's read the question. An organization needs to search an application source code to identify a potential issue. The application is distributed across multiple containers. Which Google Cloud product should the organization use? Let's read the options. Option A, Google Cloud Console, B, Cloud Trace, C, Cloud Monitoring, and D, Cloud Logging. As always, we'll start by eliminating the options. So let's start with A, which is Google Cloud Console. Now, Google Cloud Console just provides a graphical user interface which helps us manage our Google Cloud projects and resources. But here in the question, we need to search an application source code so that we can identify a potential issue that won't be possible through Google Cloud Console. That is why A is not the answer. We'll cross that off. Now the thing is, it is um, Google Cloud Console is still involved in this. You, you'll see why when we go to option B, which is Cloud Trace. Now Cloud Trace is just um, a tracing system which collects latency data from your applications and it displays it in the Google Cloud Console. So it's displaying it in the Google Cloud Console. And through this, we can manage our applications and receive detailed near real-time performance insights. And we can also, um, in this case, we need to search for the application source code to identify a potential issue. And we can do that through Cloud Trace because we are tracing all the activities or we're tracing everything that is happening inside the application. And we get near real-time performance insights. So all of this gets displayed in the Google Cloud Console. But the Google Cloud Console is not the main product that we're using. We're using Cloud Trace. That's why B is the answer. But let's see why C and D are not the answers. Now C, cloud monitoring, as you can see from the name, you can tell from the name, cloud monitoring, monitoring, what is, what is monitoring? So it is basically a method of reviewing and observing and also managing the workflow or anything really. But in this case, cloud monitoring is reviewing, observing and managing the operational workflow in a cloud-based IT structure. So all you're doing is you're reviewing, observing, and managing the data. It's not, it is not essential in this question. All you need to do is search for the application source code so that you can identify the potential issue, which we can already do through Cloud Trace. So uh, cloud monitoring is not the answer. It is not essential. All of those things are not essential in this question. So we'll cross that off. Now let's go into D, which is cloud logging. Now, what is cloud logging? It allows us to store, search, monitor, alert the logging data and events from Google Cloud and Amazon Web Services. So it does all those things related to um, the logging activities in Google Cloud and Amazon Web Services. It allows you to store, search, analyze, monitor, alert, and alert, keep alert on the logging data. So it is only logging based. That's why D is not the answer. We don't need that. We just need the application source code, right? Not the logging data. So that is why D is not the answer. So we're just left with B, which is Cloud Trace, which we already said is the answer. Once again, B Cloud Trace is the answer for question 37. Now we move on to the next question, which is question 38, or the second question of this part. Let's read it. An organization is training a machine learning model to predict extreme weather events in their country. How should they collect data to maximize prediction accuracy? Let's read the options. Option A, collect all weather data evenly across all cities. Option B, collect all weather data primarily from at-risk cities. Option C, collect extreme weather data evenly across all cities. And D, collect extreme weather data primarily from at-risk cities. All right, so this is a fairly easy question. Um, right off the bat, option A is the correct answer. Collect all weather data evenly across all cities. Now, why is that? It says, how should they collect data to maximize prediction accuracy? In order to maximize any prediction accuracy, we need to give as much data available to the AI as possible or any mach machine learning model. That is why A is the answer as it, it is the only um, out of these, it is the only system that's giving it the most amount of data. That's why it is the answer. 
Once again, A is the answer for question 38. A, collect all weather data evenly across all cities, is the answer for question 38. Let's head on to the last question of this part, question 39. A retail company stores their product inventory in a legacy system. Often, customers find products on the company's website and want to purchase them in store. However, when they arrive, they discover that the products are out of stock. How could the company benefit from using an application programming interface or an API? All right, so let's read the options. Option A, to create personalized product recommendations for customers. B, to optimize their on-premises legacy system stability. C, by manually linking each inventory system to the website on a case-by-case -case basis. And D, by programmatically connecting the inventory system to their website. Okay, so right off the bat, wherever you see manually, see the entire point of cloud or the entire point of computer systems is so that your own work is minimized, right? So manual labor is minimalized. But here it says you need to link each inventory system to the website on a case-by-case -case basis. You're increasing your work. There's no need to increase your work. But let's see is not the answer. Wherever you see manually, just think about it. Because why would you increase the amount of effort you're putting in? The entire point of getting AI or getting any computer-based model into our lives is so that our efforts are minimalized. That is why C is not the answer, so you have crossed that off. All right, so let's see A. Now what does A say? It says to create personalized product recommendations for customers. But here in the question, the main problem the customers are facing is that when they come um, in the real store, they come to the real store, they see that the products that they want are out of stock, even though they were available on the company's website. So while creating personalized, personalized product recommendations for the customers isn't going to do anything, the problem they're facing is that the products they want are not available in the actual store, but they have had the false hope because they see it on the company's website. So that is the main problem that they're having. So what is creating a personalized product recommendation for the customer is going to do? That's why it's not the answer. Let's cross that off. All right, so let's head on to the next options. But before we do that, You'll see in the first line, you see this legacy system. What is a legacy system? Now, a legacy system is an old method or like um, old method, computer system, technology, anything, but it's still in use. Now, why is it called a legacy system if it's an old method? The thing is, legacy systems, they paved the way for the modern technology. They have paved the way for the standards that follow the systems. That is why they're still in use. But most of the time, they're replaced by modern systems. Now well, let's see B, which says to optimize their on-premises legacy system stability. It's telling you to make the best or most effective use of the legacy system on in the premises or on-premises. But the main problem that, that's been faced by the customers uh, regarding this question is that the products are out of stock. So what is going to fix that is when the inventory system is connected to their website so you get real-time data you know when the product goes out of stock so you don't have the false hope that the product is still available so optimizing their on-premises legacy system stability isn't going to do as much as d which says by programmatically connecting the inventory system through their website that is the answer this is perfect that is what we're looking for it is the answer so let's cross b off because d is a better option because you're actually connecting the inventory system through their website. So once again, B, by programmatically connecting the inventory system to their website, is the answer for question 39. All right, guys, that was the end of this part. Once again, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Also, leave a like and comment down below. That was the end of GCP Digital Leader Real Exam Questions Part 9. See you guys in the next part.